திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் புழியர்கோன் வெப்பொழித்த புகலியர்கோன் கடல் போற்றி ஆழிமிசை கல்மிதப்பில் அணைந்த பிரான் அடிபோற்றி வாழி திரு நாவலூர் வன்றொண்டர் பதம் போற்றி ஊழி மலி திருவாத ஓரர் திருத்தாள் போற்றி திருச்சிற்றம்பலம் சோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு பி லுக்கிங் அட் திருநாவுக்கர் சர் தேவாரம் பதிகம் போர் டாட் ஒன் திருநாவுக்கர் சர் தேவாரம் இஸ் ஆர்கனைஸ்ட் இன் டு த்ரீ வால்யூம்ஸ் இந்த டுவெல் வால்யூம்ஸ் ஆஃப் சைவ ஒர்க்ஸ் and uh, it is this songs are in volume 4 5 and 6 so the fourth volume the first padigam the way it is organized is this padigam and it is also the very first padigam uh, he sang so what they typically do <coughs> is they take the when they compile the padigams of each saint they took all the padigams that a particular saint has sung and they put his very first padigam in the first and his very last padigam in the end and in between they organized all the padigams according to the music so like that tirunavkar sir he is padigams available padigams are compiled into these four or three volumes and the very first padigam is the first padigam of his set and his very f- final padigam is the final padigam of the sixth volume so that's how they are compiled and we have seen other tirunavkar sir thevaram padigams before in our discussion i had deliberately decided to not start with the very first padigam in our discussions before because this is a more complicated padigam so i thought that it will be best if you had seen some other easier padigams before we come to that that was the context <coughs> so i may have mentioned the story of tirunavkar sir uh, Uh, in the beginning uh, i have all explained it in the context of 7.39 the full story and i have also given some brief uh, glimpses in uh, discussing uh, 5.90 and uh, 4.11 etc i will again recap that story because some of you were not there in those discussions so tirunavkar sir was born in a place uh, called thiru amur which is about 150 kilometers south of chennai <coughs> and he was born in the late 500s you know maybe 560 540 somewhere in that range right the mid mid part of uh, 500s mid to later part of 500s and he his parents were called you know his father's name was pugaranar and uh, mother's name was madiniar and they had one daughter first her name is tilakavathi and then after a few years after her they had a second child there was the son which is tirunavkar sir and when he was born he was given the name marul neeki by his parents marul in tamil means confusion and neeki is one who removes or one who dispels so marul neeki literally means remover of confusion one who dispels confusion that was the name they gave him <coughs> and you know as they were growing up you know maybe the daughter was like 12 years old and the son was like maybe 6 or 7 years old uh suddenly the father dies but before you know they had fixed a boy to marry the daughter they had they had done the engagement and all that but the wedding was to take place let's say in two months time or something and before that some war broke out in the northern part of their kingdom and the king uh, drafted uh, various people and uh, the the groom that they had fixed he was also called to go to battle on behalf of the king so he went to the war on the northern border when that had happened in the meantime the father had died suddenly you know death comes in mysterious ways in uh, sudden ways we don't know whether it was an illness or whether it was a snake bite we don't know what happened but he died and then his mother she also left her body you know whether she died 
similarly or whether she accompanied him on the funeral pyre we don't know but she also left so the daughter and the son they are there and the daughter is say let's say 12 or 13 years old and a f week or two weeks or three weeks later they get the news that the groom who was engaged to marry her the sister he had been killed in the battle so this uh, Tilakavati, she was uh, highly, you know, uh, depressed with the turn of events. She said that my parents have gone, my engaged uh, groom has also died. She said that she doesn't want to live, she was ready to kill herself. So in those days, you know, when you want to kill yourself, you know, you make an announcement and then you bring up a fire and then you jump into the fire, those kind of things. So when she was <coughs> doing all that, the younger brother, you know, Tirnavakar sir, who was Marulniki at the time, he came, hugged her, uh, you know, and said, no, sister, don't die. If you die, I will also die. Because I will have nobody else to take her, you know. And then Tilagavati had a change of heart. She said that, you know, my younger brother is there. And I have to take care of it. So she, that became her purpose in life, to take care of her brother so that he can grow up to a good person. So she gave up her decision to kill herself. She then became like a mother to her younger brother and took care of him. And Marulniki grew up to be a young man, maybe like 16, 18, whatever age. At that time, Jainism was very, very dominant in all of South India. And there were, you know, <coughs> a lot of uh, 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 pracharam going on everywhere. And Marulniki was attracted to the Jain pracharam. He was attracted by their uh, messages. And he joined, became a Jain, and he joined a Jain monastery. He became a Jain monk. And Tilakavatiyar was very, very unhappy about this turn of events. You know, she lived to, for her brother. But her brother has uh, totally disrespected her and, uh, you know, and became a Jain. So she was very, very unhappy about what had happened. So she left their place and went to a nearby stalam called the Thiru Adigai. Thiru Adigai is about uh, maybe about 20 kilometers or so from uh, 20, 25 kilometers from Thiru Amur in that distance. And she went to that stalam, that's a big Shiva temple. She set up a place there and uh, she was uh, doing service in the temple. Tilagavati will go every day early in the morning, uh, you know, do the service in the temple, you know, whether it's washing the floors, uh, putting column in the front of the temple, or uh, tending to the gardens, plucking flowers, making garlands, you name it, right? There are a lot of things to do in the temple. She was doing all that. And in the meantime, Marulniki, when he became a Jain, they gave him a new name. He became a Jain monk and he grew up in the ranks of the Jain monks. He became a senior monk. So he was called the Dharma Sena by them. So this is so like maybe 30, 40 years he was a Jain monk. So Tilagavati was doing every day, she was worshipping uh, Shiva and she had only one prayer for Shiva. Oh Shiva, show the right path to my brother. And after a long time, you know, we can assume that it was like uh, 20 or 30 or 40 years. After a long time, one day she had a dream, Shiva came in her dream and said, Tilakavati, I will give uh, Sulai, which is a very severe stomach ailment, I will give Sulai disease to your brother and make, show him the right path. She wakes up, she recollects the dream and she was so thrilled that Swami has finally, best, you know, is granting her wish. At the same instant, Trinavakarsar, who was in a Jain monastery about 20-25 um, kilometers away, in a place called near Hadalur, 
he comes down with severe stomach pain. You know, that Sulai, we don't know exactly what it is because there are various stomach pains that we get which are uh, incurable and uh, very, very painful and uh, which will lead to death. So he was suffering a great stomach pain and the Jain monks, they try all their mantras, they try all their medicines, they, whatever they knew, they tried and nothing is helping him. He, he cannot eat, he is a very debilitating pain, stomach pain. So he felt that he was going to die. And when you are close to death, you know, our mind will play back all the life history to us. And he was thinking of his sister, the sister who raised him, and he wanted to see her. So he sends messengers to the Thiruvadike town, where her, his sister is, Tilagavati, and to come to tell her that, you know, her brother Dharmachana is about to die, and he is on his deathbed, and she, he wants to see her. So she, they, they come and tell her, and then uh, Tilagavati tells them that, you know, look, I am not going to step foot inside my Jain monastery. My brother knows where I live. If he wants to see me, he is welcome to see me here. So she sends that message back. So they go back and tell the Dharmasena, Tirunavakar said, this is what happened. Then he's, he doesn't know what to do. And uh, one night, in the middle of the night, he wraps a white cloth around himself. And with a trusted uh, assistance, he leaves the monastery. In the middle of the night, he travels to Thiruvadike. So, we can assume that, you know, he probably, they were carrying him in a palanquin or whatever, and because he was ill, he could not walk. So, they probably carried him on a palanquin uh, and brought him to Thiruvadige. So, they probably walked all night and reached Thiruvadige maybe at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, he comes to his sister's place and then he falls at her feet. Then she says, you know, get up. And then uh, she gives him nam Namashvaya Mantram, Upadesam. She utters Panchakshita Mantram and gives him Upadesam of Namashvaya Mantram and then gives him Holy Ash, Vibhuti. And says, apply it on your body. So he applies Vibhuti on his body. And then she picks up her uh, bucket and broom and all that and she says, come, let's go to the temple. So they go to the temple. And they go to the Thiruvadike temple and... Uh, the brother goes inside and uh, stands in front of the Swami and then uh, he is begging Shiva to cure him of his stomach pain. And his prayers come, from, come in the form of songs. That is the Padigam that we are going to see today. And his prayers come in the form of songs, Kutra Inavara, and then he sings the Padigam. The Padigam has ten songs. He sings so all the ten songs and his stomach pain is still not gone at the end of the tenth song. But after he finished the tenth song, with Shiva's grace, his stomach pain is totally gone. And then a voice from the heavens, Shiva is Shiva, Shiva's voice from the heavens announces, from today onwards you will be known as Navakarasi. Navakarasi means Na is tongue, which stands for uh, speech. And Arasi means king. So from today onwards you will be known as king of speech. And from that day onwards he became known as Tirunavakarasar. And he went to many salams later on, sang many many padigams. We have seen some of them before. From that time onwards he was known as Tirunavakarasar. And his guru, if you really think about it, his guru is his sister. So he did what his sister was doing all her life. He carried an implement called the Uravaram Padai, Uravaram. You would have seen Tirnavakar's pictures. They will show a, like a shovel or a, some kind of a gardening implement on his shoulder. He will always carry it with himself because wherever he went, every temple he went, he will go sing Padigams, but he will also do manual service. He will uh, tend to the gardens, he will clear the walkway around the temple, he will do whatever uh, service he has to do physically to 
keep the temple clean, to help the devotees, do all that. So that was his uh, way of service in everywhere he went till the end of his life. So that is the background of this Padigam. Now we are going to go to the first song. So Madhuri, you can repeat with me. Okay. Okay, actually before we go into the first song, uh, we will cover the Periyapuranam song that we have got. In the file, you will see a mm -hmm. one verse there before the Padigam. We will yes. read that Padigam, read that Periyapuranam song and then we will go to the Padigam. Okay. So in, in this Periyapuranam song, he is, uh, Sekhar is describing the story of Trinavakara sir. And in that he says how he sang this Padigam. Neetral. Neetral. Niraivu Agiya. Niraivu Agiya. Meni Yudan. Meni Yudan. Nirai Anbu Uru. Nirai Anbu Uru. Sindayil. Sindayil. Nesam Miga. Nesam Miga. Matrar Puram. Matrar Puram. Matriya. Matriya. Vediyarai. Vediyarai. Marulum Pini. Marulum Pini. Mayai. Mayai. Arutiduvan. Arutiduvan. Kutru Ayinavar. Kutru Ayinavar. Vilaka Gilir. Vilaka Gilir. Vilaka Gilir. Vilaka Gilir. Yena Nidia. Yena Nidia. Kodil. Kodil. Thirupadigam. Thirupadigam. Potral. Potral. Ulagu Yerin. Ulagu Elin. Varum to Yerum. Varum to Yerum. Pomare. Pomare. Eder Nindre. Eder Nindre. Pugandra Naral. Pugandra Naral. Very good. So this, uh, this is a Sekhara's uh, song in Periya Pranam describing the story of uh, Trinavakasar and in that he is saying Trinavakasar stood in front of Shiva of Thiruvadigai and sang Kutrayanavaru Padigam. That is the gist of this Periya Pranam song but we will see how he is describing it. Neetral Niraivu Agiya Meni Yudan Neer in Tamil means ash. So here it refers to the holy ash, Basma. So with Vibhuti, he is, he has put Vibhuti on his body, right? He is wearing the sacred ash all over his body, in the forehead, in the chest, in the shoulders, etc., right? So, he says, neutral, with holy ash, Niraiv, Niraiv means complete. Meni is body. So, neutral, Niraiv, Agiya Meni means the, his body that became complete with the wearing of holy ash. Because his body he never wore holy ash for last 30-40 years. Remember, he became a giant in his late teens, 18, 19, whatever, right? We think of it. And then he did not come back to become a, to Saivam till he was in his 60s. Maybe he was mid-60s. 65, something like that. So, for all these days, he never ho wore holy ash on his body. And of course, as a Jain monk in those days, the, the Digambara Jain sect was the popular one in the south. As you know, Digambara Jains, the, they don't, the monks don't wear clothing. They go naked. That's how they, he was, as part of that order. Now, for the first time in 40 years or 45 years, he is wearing holy ash. So his body was lacking and now his body is not lacking anymore because his body became complete with the wearing of holy ash. So that is Niraivis that becomes Purnam. Niraivis is a Sanskrit word for that is Purnam, completeness. So with holy ash his body became complete. Many would have, with that body he was standing there in front of Shiva, right, with the holy ash on his body. With the holy ash filled body. Nirai anbu uru sindayil nesamiga. 
Sindai is a Sanskrit word chinta, but in Sanskrit word chinta it often refers to uh, worry. But in Tamil, the word Sindai refers to the process of thinking and the organ that does the thinking. So it, it refers to mind. So Sindai in Tamil means mind here. Nirai Anbu. Anbu is love, bhakti, all are called Anbu. Right? But bhakti is nothing but love for the Lord. So Nirai Anbu. We saw Nirai in the previous line itself. Nirai is full or growing, full of love. Nirai Anbu is full of love. Sindai is mind. So in his mind, Sindayil, Nirai Anbu or Sindayil means in his mind that is full of love. Nesam Miga. Nesam is again love. Miga means is growing further. His heart was already full of love, but now that love is growing even further, with that kind of a heart, he sang the Padigam, praying for removal of his pain. He addressed to Shiva, Matrar Puram Matriya Vediyarai. This is referring to Shiva who burned down the three forts. See, the Thiruvadigai um, Salam is one of the eight Salams that refers to as Atta Viratta Salam. Right? We refer to them, you know, there are eight acts of uh, valor that Shiva did. We were mentioned it in other contexts, right? Burning down the three forts, burning Manmatar, uh, kicking Yama, killing Andhakasura, so on and so forth. So, one of them is burning down the three forts and the Thiruvadigai Salam that we are talking of where he is singing this Padigam, that is the Salam associated with the burning down the three forts. So, Sekhar is including that in his uh, reference here. Matrar Puram Matriya Vediyarai. Matrar is enemies. Puram is Sanskrit word, the three forts. Matriya means destroyed. Vedian is Again comes from Veda, one who chants Vedas are known as Vedian or Vediyar. So Shiva sang the Vedas, so he is referred to as Vediyar. Also the Vedas sing about him, so he is also the essence of the Vedas. So the word Vedian can be interpreted in two or three different ways. So the Matrarpura Matriya Vediyarai means Shiva who destroyed the three fourths of the Enemies of the Devas. Right? Shiva doesn't have enemies. Matra is enemies. Here it typically refers to the enemies of the Devas, the, the three Asuras. So Matra are from the, the three fourths of the enemies, Matriya, destroyed, Vedir, Shiva. So the Shiva who destroyed the three fourths, that Shiva, Trinavagarasa is worshipping and praying, and why did he pray? Marulum Pini Maya Arutiduvan. Pini means illness or a disease. Maya is a Sanskrit word Maya. So Marulum, Marul is that which causes uh, confusion, that which causes uh, fear in our mind. You remember the, his original name, what parents gave him was Marul Niki. Dispeller of confusion. So, Marul is confusion and confusion leads to fear. So, he is afraid of what the, is, 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 is about to die, right? So, the stomach pain. So, Marulim Pini, that pain and Maya. Maya is the Maya that is covering, enveloping all of us. So, for the illness and the Maya to be removed. Arutthiduvan. Arutthil is to remove or to destroy. In order to remove the illness and in order to remove the maya, in order to do that, he sang a padigam. What was the padigam that he sang? Kutru ayinamaru vilakka gilir. This is the opening words of the first padigam of Thirunavakarasar. Kutru means yama. In Tamil, there are several words used for Yama. You know, in Sanskrit, also we have Yama, Kala, Antaka, we have, you know, Antaka, we have uh, several names, right? Like that in Tamil, also there are several names. Kutru means Yama. 
Because Kuru means to separate and one who does the separation is Kutru. Because he separates the life from the body. That's why he is called Kutru. Kutru Ayinavar. Ayinavar means like in this context. So it is like Yama. The, the stomach pain that he has got is killing him. So that he refers to it as the Yama that has come to kill me. The, the Yama like pain. Vilakka Gilir. Vilakka is to remove. Gil, gilir is you don't. O Shiva, you are not removing this Yama like pain. That is the meaning of the phrase. Kutra in our Vilakka Gilir. Yena, thus. Nidiya Kodi Yil Tirupadigam. Kodi means blemish or a flaw. Yil means without. So he sang this Padigam, and this Padigam is a flawless Padigam, blemishless Padigam, perfect Padigam. So that's a Kodi Yil, without blemish, Tirupadigam, the holy Padigam. He started singing Potral. Potral means with that Stuti. Potra is here, it means Stuti. With that stuti, Ulagi yerin varum tuyerum pomare. Ulagi is lokam, ulagam, world. Yer is seven. Ulagi yerin means the seven worlds. Varum tuyeram. Tuyeram is suffering. Varum is that which occurs. Pomare, in order to make it go away. Edir nindre, standing in front. Either is in front, Nindra is standing, either Nindra is standing in front. Stunavakara is standing in front of that Swami Sanidhi. Pugandranar all. Pugandranar means he sang, he said, he spoke. So, the last two lines, right? Potral Vulagayadin, Varum Tuyiram, Pomar Edir Nindra Pugandranar all means he sang this Padigam in front of the Swami Sanidhi in Truvarigai making the suffering of the seven worlds to go away. So, this, what is the suffering of the seven worlds? In interpreting this, there are two ways of interpreting. One is that, you know, we have, uh, there are seven, you know, there are, uh, how many worlds exist, you know, in our uh, scriptures they talk about the three worlds, you know, or they will talk about the seven worlds, or they will talk of the fourteen worlds. So, there are different planes of existence and there are different ways of grouping them. So, Ulagi Yeru is seven worlds. That is, seven worlds in which we can exist in different forms. So, that is a form, seven worlds in which we may take birth. And by taking those births, we will be suffering. Because any birth in any world is a leading to suffering. So, that... He sang this Padigam, causing his, all his births to go away. That is a kind of uh, uh, meaning there. And then, the other interpretation is that the seven worlds, which is all the people like us, right, who live in those seven worlds, they are suffering to go away. Because he sang these Padigams, and by singing these Padigams, we also become great devotees and we will also get Shiva's grace and our births will be also be our our births will also be destroyed. Future births. So you can interpret it both ways. So the summary of the Pariyapuranam song Tunavakarsa stood there in front of the Lord with holy ash smeared body and with a lot of love bubbling up in his mind. He worshipped the Lord who destroyed the three forts praying for destruction of his illness and the maya. In praying that, he sang a padigam, Kutrayanavar Vilakagalir padigam, and that is a blemishless padigam. And by that padigam, he got, received Shiva's grace, and he, all his karma was destroyed. That is the gist of that Periya Pranam song. So, Madhuri, you can read the whole verse again. Neetral Niraivu Agia Meni Yudan Nirai Am Anbu Uru Sindail Nesam Megamatra Puram Matria Vedi Yarai 
மருளும் பினிமாயை அறுத்திடுவான் கூற்று ஆயினவார் விளக்க கிளீர் என நீடிய கோது எல் திருப்பதிகம் போற்றால் உலகு ஏலன் வரும் துயரும் போமாறு எதிர் நின்று புகன்றனரால் So, any comments, questions? Anybody? We can talk on this song. If not, we will go to the Padigam. No questions? If you are unmute, you can unmute and ask. Okay. Now, we go to the first song of the Padigam. Murthy, you can repeat with me. I, yeah, I don't have the, this one uh, in front of in me front? because, you know, I am following okay. on the phone and okay, it's not okay. opening. Front. Okay, okay. So, Rama, do you have it in front of you? I do. Okay. So, you can read with me. Mm-hmm. Kutru Ayinavar. Kutru Ayinavar. Vilakka Gilir. Vilakka Gilir. Kodumai Pala. Kodumai Pala. Saidana. Saidana. நான் அறியேன் நான் அறியேன் ஏற்றாய் அடிக்கே ஏற்றாய் அடிக்கே இரவும் பகலும் இரவும் பகலும் பிரியாது வணங்குவன் பிரியாது வணங்குவன் எப்பொழுதும் எப்பொழுதும் தோற்றாது தோற்றாது என் வயிற்றின் என் வயிற்றின் அகம்படியே அகம்படியே குடரோடு குடரோடு துடக்கி முடக்கி இட துடக்கி முடக்கி இட ஆற்றேன் அடியேன் ஆற்றேன் அடியேன் அதிகை கடில அதிகை கடில வீரட்டானத்து உரை வீரட்டானத்து உரை அம்மானே அம்மானே So this song, you know, it's in a meter I've given in the file. I've given that meter. Uh, you know the meter is like tanatana tanana tanadana that is a basic uh, rhythm that repeats twice in each line and the tana can come as tanana also so tanadana tanana tanadana so if i have to read it when you you will hear it when the odu are saying kutraina var vilakka gilir kodumai pala saidana nan ariyen etrai adike iravum pagalum piriyad vananguvane poludum தோற்றாதன் வயிற்றின் அகம்படியே குடரோடு துடக்கி முடக்கி இட ஆற்றேன் அடியேன் அதிகை கடியில வீரட்டான துறை அம்மாரே சோ இந்த ரிதம் யூ ஹியர் இட் வென் யூ இந்த சிங்கிங் சோ இந்த வெரி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சாங் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் சாங் மெனி பைஜவே திஸ் பதிகம் மெனி டிவோட்டிஸ் you know the do paranam of this padigam if they have stomach pain and they want to be rid of that stomach pain they look for this they, they say this padigam is what strunav was saying to get rid of his stomach pain so let us also para, do paranam of this and of course when devotees do paranam of any padigam with a specific purpose in mind with true devotion shiva will grant that wish and that will happen so in this song he is saying you know i have got this uh, severe pain it is debilitating me you know please i am not able to take this. i can't handle this anymore i am unable to bear this pain please get rid of this that is his deep prayer kutru ayinamaru vilakka gilir kutru is yama i mentioned that earlier ayinavar means like yama kutru ayinavar means like yama this this disease is like yama that vilakka gilir vilakka is to remove vilakka gilir is you are not removing so kutru ayinavar vilakka gilir o shiva that comes later on the end ammana is o lord o shiva so o shiva you are not removing this pain that is like yama to me kutrayanavar vilakka gilir you are not doing that and usually we know 
when we have uh, something that is causing us pain and suffering, we know that it is our past karma. Right? We have done something bad in our past, in this life or in the previous lives, we have done something terrible to somebody, and that terrible karma is result is the pain that we are having now. We saw that in the 1.116 Padigam 2, Avyanai ki Vinayam and Sulu Mahadari Veer. In Samadhar Tevaram 1.116 we have seen that. So, if you are having some pain, if you are having some serious trouble now, that is a result of past karma. So, Trinavakar said, now, you know, now once he received the holy ash from his sister and he got the Panchakshara Uvadayasam from her and then he is standing in front of Shiva, he, with Shiva's grace he is able to recollect a lot of his past. You know, not just this life, right? His past. So, he says, in this life, I have never done anything bad, such a terrible thing to anybody that will lead to this kind of a result. Kodumai is something that we do bad things to others. That is called Kodumai. Cruelty. Kodumai, you can have many, many synonyms. Cruelty is one thing. So basically, bad things. Pala, pala means many. Saizana means having done. Non Aryan. I don't know. I don't recall. Ari, Arizal is to know, Aryan is I don't know. So what is saying? Kodumai Pala Saizana non Aryan. I don't recall ever doing anything terrible like this to anybody. That means the I have never done wrongs to others that could result in this kind of a suffering for me. That's what he's saying. Kodumai Pala Saizana non Aryan. I don't remember. I have never done any such things. And then he says, second line, The gist of that is, I worship your feet day and night. So, it can be interpreted in two ways. means you accepted me. means to receive, to accept so, you have accepted me as your devotee. So, that is one way of interpreting Yetrai. Another way of interpreting Yetrai is Yer means bull in Tamil. You know, we have seen in different Tevaram songs, there are several words for uh, bull in uh, Tamil. And in different songs, depending on meter and uh, rhyming and all that, they will use different uh, synonyms. So, uh, Vidai is one common word that will come in Tevaram. Thodudai Seviyan, Vidayeri, Orthuvan Madhisudi. Vidai there is Vrishabam. That is a Tamil form of Vrishabam. Vrishabam is also written as Idrabam. That is also another form of the Vrishabam in Tamil. Then there are several Tamil words, Yer, Yerud, Petram, An. There are several words that refer to a bull. So here he is using the word Yer. And a try means O, one with Vrishabam. One who is on the riding on a bull. A try. O Shiva who is riding on a bull. Adike to your holy feet. Adi is feet. Adike is to the feet. Adike is emphasis. Nothing but your feet. Adike iravum pagalum. Iravu is night. Pagal is day. Iravum Pagalam is night and day. Piriyad. Piriyad means without living, without separation. Means continuously. Vananguvan. Vananguvan is to worship. Vananguvan, here it means I worship. Yapurudam. Always. So, second line. Yatrai adikya iravum pagalam. Piriyad vananguvan yapurudam means O Shiva. Oh, rider on the bull, I always worship your holy feet day and night without separation means without fail, without any gap. I am always thinking of your holy feet and worshipping it. Then third line is describing his problem. First line also describes the problem. Kutra inavare, kutra is this pain is like yama. The third line is describing very graphically. 
தோற்றாது என் வயிற்றின் அகம்படியே குடரோடு துடக்கி முடக்கியிட ஆற்றே நடியேன் தோற்றாது மீன்ஸ் விதவுட் பீங் விசிபிள் சி த If if there is an injury, you know, uh, external injury, we can see it, right? If you if you fall and uh, break your arm or if you fall and get a gash on your uh, leg or uh, arm or face, you can see the cut and bleeding and all that, you can see that thing. But this is stomach pain, which is inside, which is outside, you don't see it. That's what I think. Thought rather, without being out, visible outside, yen vaitrin agam badiye. Vairu is stomach. என் இஸ் மை என் வயிற்றின் இன் மை ஸ்டமக் அகம்படியே அகம்படியே மீன்ஸ் இன்சை இந்த இன்சைட் அகம் இஸ் இன்சைட் அகம்படியே மீன்ஸ் இன்சைட் த இன் மை அப்டமன் ஸோ என் வயிற்றின் அகம்படியே இன் மை அப்டமன் குடரோடு துடக்கி திஸ் ஸ்டமக் பெயின் சூலை டிசீஸ் வாட் இட் இஸ் டூயிங் குடர் இஸ் இன்டெஸ்டைன்ஸ் குடல் ஏன்னா வி ஹேவ் ஸ்மால் இன்டெஸ்டைன் பி லார்ஜ் இன்டெஸ்டைன் ஆல் தோஸ் இன்டெஸ்டைன்ஸ் ரைட் குடர் இஸ் த வேர்ட் தட் ரெஃபர்ஸ் டு intestine in tamil common word the common today's tamil they will call it kudal so that kudaroda tudak tudakki is to tie it mudakki is to make debilitating so kudaroda tudakki mudakki eda means that disease is 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 tying up all my intestines and it is so debilitating that i am not able to do anything i am disabled debilitating pain so tudaki mutaki eda artrain adiyen artrain is i am unable to bear see there is a pain that is bearable pain and there is unbearable pain so this pain is so terrible that it is i am not able to bear it artrain unbearable i am not able to bear it swami adiyen i so the whole phrase totradin vaitrin agambadiye kudarodu tudaki mudakkiyada aatrayen adiyen so this pain is inside my stomach in my abdomen it is not visible outside but inside it is tying the is binding my all my intestines together as if it is uh, you know put a big knot around them and uh, tightening it you know how much pain i will have that kind of pain i have and because it is so terrible it is debilitating mudakki ede artrain i am unable to bear and then the last phrase is o swami of thiruvadigai aligai kedila veerattanath urai ammane amman is lord o swami o iswara and where is he dwelling in adigai adigai is the name of the stalam and veerattanam is the name of the temple and kedilam is the name of the river that flows through the town so in many chavaram songs they will have place description like a river that flows through the town or uh, something like that or other uh, um, attributes of the place so adigai kedil veerattanam is the veerattanam temple which is in thiruvadigai on the banks of kedilam river so adigai kedil veerattanath in that veerattanam temple urai and dwelling ammane o lord so adigai kedil veerattanath urai ammane o lord dwelling in veerattanam temple in thiruvadigai on the banks of kedilam river o lord i am unable to bear this terrible pain of the sule disease it is like amart to me i don't recall ever doing anything bad to get such a punishment i am always thinking of your holy feet and worshiping it day and night without any gap please show your grace and remove this pain that is a gist of the first song so you can uh, read the whole verse again rama okay kootraina varu vilakkilir kudumai pala seidan naan ariyen ஏற்றாய் அடிக்கே இரவும் பகலும் பிரியாது வணங்குவன் எப்பொழுதும் தோற்றாது என் வயிற்றின் அகம்படியே குடரோடு துடக்கி முடக்கிட ஆற்றேன் அடியேன் அதிகை கெடில வீரட்டான தூரை அம்மானே வெரி குட் சோ நைன் மினிட்ஸ் லெஃப்ட் 
and uh, if we take up the second song, it will probably go longer. So what I'm thinking is that maybe we can stop here for today. And uh, if you, any of you have any comments, questions on the background uh, story or the Periyapuranam song or the first song, we can talk about it now. Otherwise, uh, we can uh, listen to the Oduvar singing the, either the few songs of this Padigam or the whole Padigam, depending upon your time. And then we can continue the next session. Okay, just an observation here. Uh, yeah. He says that, you know, till he came to this place, he never thought of Shiva, actually. Mm. But here he says, I'm thinking of you 24 hours, day and night, all the time. Mm. <laughs> Very good question. Very good question. You know? So, uh, that's a... Uh, so, we had to think about it. Why he said that. Okay? Now, there are uh, a couple of ways of looking at it. One is that he is declaring his deep devotion now and he is referring to in future, from here on. Right? From here on, I will never forget you. Okay? I have, I have totally changed. Now I have become an ardent devotee of you and I will never forget you for the rest of my life from now on. That's one way of interpreting, which is that's a, which is an interpretation that is uh, easy to understand for everybody. Hmm. Another interpretation is that, you know, he is, remember, he, he had already received Shiva's grace at this point. Right. Okay, even though the pain is still there, but he has already received Shiva's grace and uh, because of that, he is able to think about his previous lives, right, before he was in a... Later on, we didn't cover all those uh, Pariyapuranam story sections in our discussion. In that, Shiva tells Tilagavati in her dream that your brother had in his previous birth, he had been a sage, he had been a rishi, and he had done a lot of tapas to reach me. But for whatever reason, he could not uh, get that in that life. He had to be reborn now. He didn't say that, but we have to interfere that, right? So, but Shiva says mm -hmm. to Tilagavati in her dream, your brother had, in his previous life, he had been a rishi and he had uh, done great tapas. Don't worry, mm -hmm. we will accept him as our devotee. Mm -hmm. So, we can infer at this point, Sinavakara sir had re remembered all his uh, previous uh, tap tapas. Mm -hmm. So, he is referring to that, right? Like, uh, that's another way of looking at it. Because yeah. if, you, if you think of the previous births and the SNL, uh, for the last so many births, I have been working to release mm -hmm. Shiva. So he's thinking yeah. of all that and he's describing that way. That's one another way of saying it. Mm -hmm. A third way, which is also, um, uh, we, have, um, we have seen that in uh, 6.1 Padigam. Later, you know, we had covered that in Periyanai, Ariyanai, Andhanadam, Sindhayane Padigam, 6.1. And that he will say, Periyane Perumbatra Puliurane Pesada Nalalam Prava Nale. Means, every day, any day that one spends without praising Shiva was a day when he was not born. That means, the day when he was not alive. Mm. So, even if you take that song as an example here and apply that, you will say that, you know, he spent 40 years as a Jain. He never mm -hmm. praised Shiva in those days. Mm -hmm. So, applying that yardstick, Trinavagrasar was not alive in those 40 years. Mm -hmm. So, he discounted all the 40 years as being not alive. Right. If you do that, then, you know, before and after, he is always thinking of Shiva. Mm -hmm. Again, but, but a very good question. Thank you. Yeah. Any any other questions, comments? Anybody else? Okay, if not, we will conclude here and then we will continue in the next session. Trichitrambalam.